Oh, for sure. It was that I understood absolutely zero about software development. Like I had no clue uh, before I started. And um, the initial version of uh, Bitter was actually built by an outsourcing company. Uh, they're based in Romania, in Cluj. I went to visit them a few times and I was like, oh yeah, they actually look like legit guys. They were, they did not have experience with Bitcoin, but they were very keen to learn. And yeah, we, we started off the journey. We were building for about, well, I'd say eight months or so. And, and that was actually going well uh, for, for, I don't know, maybe one, two years, but then because they now had experience with Bitcoin, they were this like very popular company for software development because they were the guys that knew and they got very busy. They got a ton more projects. They at some point even built like a, an actual exchange like with trading engine and whatnot. So they had less and less time for me, which is totally fine. I mean, I understand that, that you as a software developer, you want to work on stuff that excites you. Not so much the, on stuff that's like uh, already built and it just needs to be maintained. And right about the same time, I, I unfortunately had to close Bitter in the Netherlands. And um, so, yeah, it kind of came nicely together that I was like, well, I'm kind of annoyed that when I want to do upgrades or when I want to implement new stuff, new stuff on Bitter, I'm always like dependent on other people. And at the same time, I had all this like spare time now, now that I no longer had to operate a company. So I was like, you know, like the whole backend, it's written in Elixir. Let me do some like starting courses on Elixir. And uh, yeah, I was doing that for about six weeks, maybe two months. And then I was like, okay, I think I got the hang of this. And I, I just like, we had this huge backlog of things because we were always only doing the most important upgrades. And then I just like looked, looked at my backlog and I was like, oh, this issue, I think I can fix it. And um, yeah, just from one, one thing to the next, I, now basically maintain the whole stack myself. And it's very liberating to be able to make the changes you need to make yourself. 